me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 21 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add Widow's Wine. So, uh, let's open up Launcher. Let's get this show on the road, people. All right, so I'm going to navigate to one of my maps. I'm going to go over to ZM, They Live. That's my map. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Zone Source. Now, once I'm ready here, you're going to see these files, all English, local, and ZM, they live, zone file. Now, you're going to want to back out just one. If you go up to the top, you're going to see your map name. Click on that. And then you're going to see these five files. And just click on scripts. Click on ZM. And you're going to see your map name. And there's going to be a CSC. And there's going to be a GSC. So we're going to go into the GSC file, double click that. No, I don't want to open it in Notepad. And right here is your GSC file. All right, so we're going to scroll down to where you see perks. And then right under Stamina Up, we're going to make a space. Uh, we're going to put the cursor at the end of it. Press Enter. And there's going to be some information that I'm going to have in the video description. So you're going to copy that bit of code. And you're going to paste it right over here. It's going to say at using scripts slash ZM slash ZM perk widow's wine. Once you got that in there, save it. Back out. Now we're going to go over to um, your map name CSC. So highlight that. Right click it. Either open it up in uh, Notepad++ or just open it in Notepad. All right, and same thing, you're gonna look for where your perks are. Should be right after stamina up, but as long as you put it in this little column right here, because this is where your perks are, and paste that in. There you go. Hit file, hit save. All right, so the scripting part is done. Now, there's also a download to the Widow's Wine prefab, it's gonna be in the video description. So, you're gonna download that, and you're gonna go over to your Black Ops 3 root folder. You're going to go into map source. You're going to go into prefabs. You're going to go into ZM. You're going to go over to ZM core. And you're going to put it over here with all your other vending machines. That way it doesn't get lost in the shuffle. And of course, Radiant is going to read it. So when you compile, you're not going to have any errors saying it can't find a prefab. So that's pretty much it. Now you would just navigate to one of your maps. You know, let's open up my map. I'm going to open Map and Radiant. It's that simple. And the next perk I'm going to do, most likely after this episode, is going to be Electric Cherry with all the features. All right, so I already got my map open. And let's see where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put it right in the middle. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to go over to NISC Prefab. Now, if you don't have this over here, this I'm going to show you how to get that. So you're going to hit B on the keyboard for browser, Entity Browser. You're going to go over to MISC. And right where you see Prefab, you're going to right-click, and you're going to go to Toggle Favorite or Add to Favorite. That way, whenever you right-click either on the 2D window or the 3D window, it'll show up on the bottom. And you can just implement it like that. So that's good. All right. So let me right click. Let me go to Miss Prefab. I'm going to go to ZM, ZM Core, and let me look for the Widow's Wine. That's where you should have put the download. Let's see, vending. So on the bottom, show yourself Widow. There it is. And it's a struct, so there it is. Widow's Wine. And I think you should put this halfway in the floor. Or right where the, the blue starts, that's where the floor should be. So I've got a little bit more space to go. 
me just bump that down just one more. Hit escape. Now let me uh, compile my map. I'm gonna hit file. I'm gonna hit save. And let me go to compile, lights, link, and run. And let's see how it came out. See if I got the widow's wine in there. All right, it's compiling. Come on, baby. Show me some love. All right, it's going to let the, the lighting bake. Remember, if there's any videos you guys want to see, just hit me up in the comments. You know, I nowadays I get a lot of comments, but I try to respond to everybody. So if you say something, trust me, I'm going to respond. But um, if you have any map ideas, you know, just drop me a comment and, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll try to provide it. You know, we got to look out for everybody. This is our zombies community. You know, if you can't count on me, then how can you count on anyone else? Because me, I go all out for everybody. That's just the way I am. That's just me, me, me. You know what I mean. All right, it's almost done. And if you're watching this video, most likely I already have Electric Cherry tutorial up and running. So uh, be on the lookout for that, people. Because I know people love the cherries. You gotta love a cherry. All right, this is taking a minute. There we go. All right. Come on, Lord of Scripts. Merciful. Please launch. I swear by the old scripts and the new. There we go. All right. Let's open up Steam. All right, the map's loading. And let's check out and see how the... Um, Widow's Wine, it came out. Like, I know there's plenty of videos on this, but uh, it's, I'm not sure if everybody has this prefab, if they were using their own. But hopefully the lights should be working and everything, so let's give this a look. There's the widow's wine. Let's check out the length of it. You know, it could have gone a little bit further down. So just one box extra down. And check out my lighting. There we go. I don't have any lights in here, but at least I don't have any um, leaks in terms of lighting on the edges. So everything is looking pretty nice. All right, and I have zombies. Almost forgot about you. All right, so let me turn on the power. And let's check it out. All right, 4,000. Oh, my God. No wonder they call it Widow's Wine. Because they want the money. All right, let's try to get these lights working. Let me back out and let's make sure this lights up because I'm not feeling this. We're gonna make we're gonna make sure this works. So let me back out and game. Now I should turn on the other light stage for this. So most likely that's the issue. So let's check it out. Because there should be a different light stage for when the power is on or off. So right now when the power is off, I think it's light stage one. Now, if you want the lights to light up, then it should be on light stage two. So let, let's see if that's the case. I haven't tried this before, but I'm pretty sure this could work. So let's let's see what's up with this. All right, let me go back over to Radiant. Go 
places. 